right, this week's challenge is directed at me. So let's uh, take a look at what it says here. It says, aren't you against abortion just because you're a Christian? I mean, you talk about abortion as if you're objectively evaluating the morality of it. But in reality, it's your religious views that make you against abortion, not science and not some neutral, unbiased rationale. So is it really the case that I'm against abortion just because I'm a Christian? Uh, well, actually, yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> that is the reason I'm against abortion. Uh, that's because Christianity as a religion is one in particular that provides a moral grounding for the claim that human beings are valuable and therefore to kill them is wrong. And this is really a basic biblical idea, a biblical concept, and that is that all human beings are made in the image of God, and as a result, they are intrinsically valuable, and also that they are equally valuable. So am I saying then that if I was an atheist, I wouldn't be against abortion? That's right, <laughs> I wouldn't be. If I was an atheist, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't be against abortion, because ultimately atheism doesn't have a, a moral framework by which to ground this notion, this objective notion, that human beings are valuable and deserving of protection. And they certainly couldn't claim that all human beings are of equal value. Just think about this for a moment. If atheism is true, then almost certainly some form of evolution is also true. Some form of naturalistic evolution must also be true, if atheism is true. Well, if that's the case, then um, whatever led, whatever processes led to the emergence of human beings, also led to the emergence of giraffes and whales and tigers and birds and centipedes and earwigs and whatever, all that stuff. And so in reality then, it's basically the, the case that we as a human species are no more significant than a swarm of mosquitoes on an evolutionary naturalistic account of the universe. There is nothing in a naturalistic worldview, an atheistic worldview, to say that human beings are valuable over and above other species, or that human beings are of equal value. Under atheism, what possible explanation could account for the claim that all human beings are valuable? Um, there, there is nothing that all human beings share equally that is some sort of physical trait. I mean, um, all human beings are, differ in terms of their height, in terms of their strength. Not all human beings share the same uh, abilities in terms of mathematical abilities, athletic abilities. There, there's no one physical trait that all human beings share equally such that it would give us grounding or an explanation or a justification for claiming that all human beings are equally valuable. And notice, of course, that's in contrast to Christianity, which teaches that all human beings are made in the image of God, and that is the one thing that all of them share equally. And notice that that characteristic or that quality is not a degreed property. You don't have more or less of being made in God's image. You either are made in God's image or you're not, right? You either have that quality or you don't. Now here's the other thing. If I was an atheist, not only would I consider it morally permissible to kill unborn human beings, but I'd also consider it morally permissible to kill born human beings. That's because whatever makes born human beings valuable would be precisely the same thing that would make unborn human beings valuable. And of course, under atheism, they don't have a moral framework or a moral grounding by which to make the claim that all human beings are equal value or that all human beings are valuable at all. In fact, under an atheistic, naturalistic account of the universe, nothing can ultimately be judged as wrong. You couldn't provide that grounding because you don't have an objective standard by which to judge morality. You don't have an objective grounding by which you can uh, give value to humans or any species for that matter. Now let me just make this clear. I am not saying that the atheists that I know or that most atheists think that killing innocent human beings is morally permissible. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm simply claiming is that the worldview of atheism or naturalism doesn't have the um, the moral framework by which to ground the notion that uh, killing innocent human beings, or for that matter, uh, killing innocent human beings that are unborn, is something that is um, morally wrong. Now, most atheists that I talk to don't think that it's morally permissible to kill innocent human beings. But that's in spite of their naturalistic, atheistic worldview. The reason why they think that killing innocent human beings is wrong is because they're they have to you know, borrow from the moral capital that Christianity provides. Uh, most likely they live, at least the ones that I talk to, live in a culture that has been heavily influenced by the Judeo-Christian worldview, which of course makes the affirmation and has the grounding 
that uh, human beings are valuable. Now there are atheists, however, that are consistent with their worldview. Now there aren't many of them, let's see, at least I don't talk to many of them, but there are a few and they um, will say, well, actually, according to our worldview, you can't ultimately say that anything is wrong because ultimately there is no God, there is no objective standard, there is no thing or person that um, impregnates creation with certain uh, intrinsic worth. And so uh, these, these atheists would say, yeah, you're right. Based on a worldview, we can't say that anything is ultimately wrong. We just have to sort of agree that we're not going to kill each other, or we have to agree that human beings are valuable or, or equally valuable. But again, these are simply arbitrary notions that they have to adopt or, uh, or borrow, again, as I said, the moral capital from uh, theistic worldviews. So am I ultimately against abortion because of my Christian worldview or my Christian religion? Well, the answer is yes. Does that mean that I can't make a secular defense for the pro-life view? No, not at all. In fact, I routinely, when I'm speaking at secular universities, give a rigorous, I believe, scientific defense uh, or a secular defense for the pro-life view. Now, as long as the person who I'm speaking with is willing to grant the premise, which I believe, by the way, is a very modest premise, that killing an innocent human being is wrong, then I can make a secular defense for my view. And by the way, most people I speak to on the street um, would agree that killing innocent human beings is wrong. And I don't even know what they're, or if they have any religious convictions. But f the fact of the matter is most people would agree with that premise. Well, if they can agree that killing innocent human beings is wrong, all I then have to do is offer a scientific or secular defense that the unborn is a human being uh, just like you and me. And uh, that is something that can be discovered simply by looking at what the science of embryology says. And I would argue that the science of embryology on that question is decisive. So although I can offer a secular defense for my pro-life views, at the end of the day, ultimately, I am against abortion because I'm a Christian. And by the way, I'm not ashamed of that, nor do I think you should be.